Good evening guys, this is Maya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to share with you my top 5 tips to set proper views in the dialogues to get your best renders. Well, design presentation is different for different designers. It depends on the type of project you're working and country you're working and the client requirement. Not every project requires you to make a high detail 3D model. You might be doing only the lux calculations. Even if you're running a lux calculation with simple furniture, you can use the steps to have proper views in your lux reports. Let's get started. This is a sample project of a villa and uh, we will set views for the different rooms of this project and along the way I will show you the depths. Now we have a couple of rooms here like this is a home office. Okay, then we have a walk-in closet. This one. We have a master bedroom. And the other room is the kids' bedroom. I haven't placed much lighting here. This is only for a reference. Now, the first step is whenever you're setting the views for any specific room, like for home office, if you're trying to go inside the room through your site view, like this, or through your story, it might be slightly difficult for you to adjust the views. So the best and easy way is to go to the individual rooms and set the views. Like here is my home office. I will directly go to the home office and adjust the views from here. So it's a lot easy. Set the views when you are into individual rooms. Same way, let's go to the master bedroom. See, it's much easier to set the views. You don't have to struggle to set the views from the story or the site. For some rooms when you are setting, you might feel that there is a missing room here. But don't worry, when you are rendering, even the room that is behind this will be covered in the renders, okay? Now tip two is perspectives. Simple thing to set proper perspective is that imagine yourself to be standing in front of the room and seeing the room, okay? Do not set your main views from different angles like this, like this, like this, which do not make any proper sense. Your client needs to see the design well and make sure it is proper. Save new view, okay? If you set the views going into the individual room, when you set the view, the name will be automatically the room name, okay? It's again very easy for you to later check for the views. Now let's go to the other room. Let's go to master bedroom. See here too. Imagine you are standing inside this room and seeing the room. So this is the correct perspective. And whenever you are setting the views, make sure this, if you have any walls, it, it should be straight. Okay, like I have a wood paneling here for the bed bag. And when you are setting the view, if you have problem in setting the proper camera angles, if it is going like this, like this, or some random angle, make sure you're slowly setting it in such a way that these walls or the bed walls are straight, okay? This wall here, see it's like a straight line, okay? Now your third tip is focus on the lighting. We are making the dialogue simulations for lighting. So your renders should cover the lighting or the lighting effects, okay? Do not focus on any fancy furniture you have kept in a project, something like this. Okay, do not make renders zoomed in and just showing the furniture with high DD model. No, we are not showcasing interior renders here. We are focusing on the lighting. So, whenever you are making a render, suppose if you want this section, okay, first thing, we are in the room view. Second, we are making sure that our walls are straight and third, we'll make sure that our lighting is covered. We have that small spots above, we'll make sure that is covered. Okay, save new view. Now, suppose if you're including any bedside table lamps and you want to show that lighting in, in your renders, then of course you can zoom in and adjust the views, make sure the lines are straight and save new view only if you need to capture any light source or the light effect. Next tip is cover the main element of your room at least in one view. You're doing a rendering for your master bedroom. 
in any bedroom bed is the main element so at least have one render covering your main element of the room here it's a bed if you have a living room or a sitting area then there would be a sofa okay and suppose if it is a kitchen then you have kitchen island identify the most important element of that space and at least in one of your views have that covered okay for me the bed is the main element in the master bedroom i will set the view such that my complete bed and the lighting effect is visible this view is good so i will save new view and the final tip is whenever you're setting the views make sure the brightness levels and the cct are correct if you're working in a dark room the room where you're sitting and working on the dialogues if your room is dark then your system brightness will be appearing too bright and as a result maybe you will be lowering the brightness levels and suppose if you are working in a day and you have too much of daylight or too much of artificial light your room is overly lit and you're making the renders maybe you will make it too bright and set the view so make sure the room in which you are sitting and working is is having a balanced light or as a standard i would recommend to set the scale at this scale 4 from the right hand side this side so this is perfect for interior renders it's not too bright or too dim just perfect next is your white balance this purely depends on what cct of light you're using okay if you're using 3000 kelvin make sure in the view 2 it's appearing as a 3000 kelvin if you're using a 4000 kelvin make sure views are also 4000 kelvin if you want to learn more in detail about the white balance i have a detailed tutorial i will share the link of that in the description you can learn that these are my top five tips for setting proper views for the renders but i will add an additional tip for one common issue we all face while doing the renders so let's go for a bedroom three and i have a window here so you have a window when you are setting the views you can see that turbing your view set the view and render there is a line visible so how are we going to solve that for that what you can do is close the calculation set select your window go into the plan view and slightly bring your window a little bit front okay not completely out of the wall but exactly placed aligned on the wall okay and now if you set the view see that cutting depth is not visible let's run the calculation and check calculation is completed and let's set the view so let's quickly make renders if you double click you will be taken to that view double click go to the ray tracer i prefer to keep my renders in 4k ultra hd resolution you can even reduce it as per your requirement let's keep it 4k uhd and start ray tracing see the render is completed and it is clean i want to show you this render for a dressing room where this seems to be not visible so we will go to the ray tracer increase the resolution and start ray tracing the render is completed and what was appearing as a blank is now covering the master bedroom area which is visible from this side then let's make a render for which we made the window a little bit in front this view go to the ray tracer and start ray tracing render is completed and you can see the view perfect so these are my top five tips for generating good renders in the dialogues evo and this is it guys in this video i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please do hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you